Kembo na tatanzambi ya manzulu. Greetings to all the Bento family all over the world, to the dispersed and outcast of Isolele in the eastern and western hemisphere. May the spirit of Akongo be with you all wherever you are in this world. Today is a wonderful day. It's a great conversation that we will have today, and I hope it will empower you. We, Bantu people, we have our prophets. Every tribe, every Bantu tribe, they have a history of a great prophet that lived and that shared wonderful, powerful things. Now, today we're going to discuss one of the greatest prophets who ever lived and walked this planet Earth. Now, once again, in this video and in this conversation, I am not alone, but I have someone with me who will explain to us the history of this great prophet as he calls this prophet an avatar. You maybe already <laughs> know who I'm talking about. I have with me today, once again, it's an honor to receive this great man. Okay, great man. Uh, I honor him because he's doing a great work uh, and he's also showing character, good character. As the book tells us to honor oh, those please. who lead by example who lead with a good character. Yes, and character um, is maturity. So, so uh, I have with me today, once again, our brother, Nabi Yanatan. Hallelujah. Yanatan, please say hello. N Nabi Kefas. Nabi Kefas. First of all, you, you are too gracious. First of all, all the Kembo to Tatanzambi, Yamazuru. It's always an honor to come on your platform. Uh, we thank the Most High for what He is doing. Uh, we honor Him. We, we honor the voices in this bunch of awakening, of course. Uh, Masa, <laughs> who I just finished watching his video. Masa is getting deeper. Uh, I honor, um, of course, Pastor Melo. I honor uh, Tiba Malonga. There's nothing I can say. There's Brother Trey. There's so many in this Congo truth. Uh, despite all the challenges, we thank the Most High that Tatanzambe is always with us and fighting for us. And uh, it's I honor you for the great work that you've done. I always tell people is you were sent. You appeared at a time where uh, you know we needed an apostolic and a prophetic voice in this awakening. Uh, I believe in prophets. I believe in honoring of prophets. Hallelujah! It's it's part of our culture beyond the Bible. We honor prophetic voices all over Bantu Africa. We recognize their work. And I can't wait to tackle the subject because actually uh, yesterday was Independence Day in the Congo. Mm -hmm. And uh, Kimbangu played a huge role for that independence um, to reach. We know the word independence can be debated, blah, 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 blah. But uh, I recognize even small victories, I do recognize. And Kimbangu's role is why um, Congolese could stand up in pride and the Bantu people could stand up in pride. And uh, it's, it's an honor to be part of this people and this culture. And we are carrying on the work that he left us to do in Geta. Hallelujah, hallelujah. <clears throat> so yeah. um, people, we, as maybe you will guess it already, but we will discuss Kimbang today. Yes, and Kimbangu, the name Kimbangu itself in the Kikongo language mm. carries a lot of weight. Mm. If the Tanzan is gracious yes, one day, we will break down the name Kimbangu so that you will understand mm. the significance of that name. Yeah. Um, so mm. as we start, we want to share first a short history of Kimbangu. So, Jonathan, to you, who was yes, Kimbangu? Yeah, for people who don't know it. Oh, very great Kimbangu? question. Very great, very great question. You know, 
I was born in the Democratic Republic of Congo. Uh, I was born in uh, a province called Katanga, okay? And that's actually where Kimbangu was imprisoned, in Katanga. And you'll find that in the Katanga region, births many prophets. Mm -hmm. And because Kimbangu's seed was placed there. When you go to Congo, uh, there are prophets all over Congo, Congo, Angola, Gabon, whatever. But in the Katanga region, you'll find there's a lot of people with a gift of prophecy. And because Kimbangu was placed as a seed, he died there. Well, it can be a debated whether Kimbangu died or not. <laughs> you know the whole history. But me, growing up from, from Congo, I was looking for uh, a black prophet. Uh, I grew up uh, watching, you know, Benny Hinn and uh, uh, Smith Wigglesworth reading books, uh, uh, you know, uh, William Brennan. I grew up in a Christian culture and all the people were white. So when I started asking questions, and the Congolese pastors were telling me that Kimbangu was a sorcerer. Kimbangu was a witch doctor and uh, Kimbangu was this, Kimbangu was that. So from a young age, I've always known when someone says something is satanic, I, I ask why. So I started doing research and what I found was shocking. This is a man who not only in the prophetic, but in African liberation history is noted is uh he's been elevated as the greatest liberator mm -hmm. uh of the of the black man per se kimbangu number two i discovered that um marcus garvey's vision of bringing people back to africa was inspired by kimbangu okay and uh, he studied the teachings of kimbangu yes and people are actually saying that kimbangu and marcus garvey are actually relatives they're from the same lineage. Uh, the, uh, people have, have, have said that. And what moves me is Kimbangu's life shows you that no prophet is honored in his own country. You're going to talk to Congolese people. You mentioned the name Kimbangu, they will insult you. You mentioned the name Kimbangu, they'll say witchcraft. There are even many pastors today who don't recognize Kimbangu, but I've seen this year as the Spirit showed you and myself about the year of Kimbangu, many more Christian Black pastors are recognizing the work of Kimbangu. And it's so significant because it's in the hundredth year of his prophecy. 1921, now we're in 2021. So that's what I can say about Kimbangu. What does Kimbangu mean to you? <laughs> yes, Kimbangu is uh, definitely one of the greatest prophets. I never heard of him before until I came into the awakening. Yes, and I heard you talking about him. So that's the moment I decided to do some research and I to read about this. <clears throat> yes, and to read about this uh, powerful man who walked the, uh, the soil of the earth. Uh, now, um, Kimbangu is recognized in Africa. Yes, uh, he is recognized in Congo, so I say. People know about him, but because Congo is, um, let's say, a Christian nation, yeah, because the majority, yeah, yes, yes, yes. the greatest uh, religion is Christianity. Christianity, yeah? yes. So, um, Kimbangu did not approve of Christianity. He did not approve because Christianity oh. to him was considered the colonizing power. Yes. And he so. considered the colonizing power. The thing that came to colonize the people to subdue them in servitude. So he opposed the Catholic church. Yes. Yes. Uh, he fought against the Catholic church, um, not by waging war with them, Eh? Not by, you know, going around to killing uh, Catholic missionaries and Jesuit priests. No. 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 But he fought against them with his word and spiritual <clears throat> deeds. Eh? Yes. He fought, he opposed them spiritually and he showed mm. spiritual power. Spiritual. He displayed spiritual power. Spiritual eh? power. Yes. Yes. We will come there. We will discuss it. Yeah. So um, according to 
Britannica, and they have all kinds of uh, controversy things uh, written there of Kimbangu because they don't want to tell the truth. Exactly. They say that he um, established the Kimbangist church. Uh, what, mm. what can you say about mm. that? Oh, you know, the, the most has blessed brother, brother Kefas with a lot of wisdom. Starting, uh, yeah, so there's a whole controversy and I've seen also like with our brothers and sisters in America is many people believe that we are part of the Kimbangist church <laughs> because we promote uh, um, a leader. Kimbangu never started the Kimbangist church. Kimbangu never said, um, I started church after me. It doesn't make sense because as we're talking off air, um, the Kimbangist church is part of the economical uh, council of churches whenever you hear the word ecu ecumenical it's the beast it's the one world religion it's <laughs> you know why would kimbangu start a church that he was fighting against it exactly. doesn't make sense huh? it doesn't make sense huh? and well, this shows reason him also for 30 years 30 years so kimbangu was greater than mandela oh <laughs> He was in prison for 30 years for preaching the truth, for healing the sick and all these things. And he, he never said start a church after me. He never said that. What, what always happens is, say, for example, like you, uh, Brother Kephas, the Most High, uh, he's raising you up like he is now. He's giving you a lot of wisdom. Mm -hmm. You're healing the sick and you're raising the dead. You're doing all these things and you go into glory. You'll find people say, let's start the Kefas movement. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? Let's start the Kefas movement. Maybe the power is in his glasses. All of them are going to wear glasses. Maybe the power is in his, his, uh, the way he talks. Maybe because he speaks Dutch. Let's all learn Dutch. Do you understand what I'm saying? Because of the legacy you leave, because of the power you walk under, certain of your disciples would, will make a religion out of you. And mm -hmm. this is what we've seen with, with uh, the Kimbangist movement. And of course, if you want to make money, start your own religion. <laughs> so the Kimbangist leaders are making so much money. Uh, I've got nothing against them. Uh, uh, Papa Diangenda, Mr. Lokele, all those people. But they've, they've made money from Kimbangu. They've, they've uh, you know, and they bow down to the Roman Catholic Church. Everything goes back to Rome. So, uh, no, Kimbangu never said, um, Kimbangu never said, uh, start a church after me. That's a huge lie. And this, this is the, the issue with us Congolese or Bantu people. We don't write our own history. The white men write about Kimbangu. Where are the black people who's writing about Kimbangu? Besides Pastor Melo and, you know, we don't have authors, you know? So that's what I, I'll say. Yeah, so um, I will start another movement. Hmm? <laughs> the Kefas movie. Hmm? Kefanis. Uh, Kefanis. <laughs> oh, wow. Hmm? Make me the secretary. Make me the treasurer. <laughs> it's crazy. Um, that's, yes. You're completely right. You know, people, yes, sir. they start a movement around a certain character. Uh, and that's what happened. Kimbangu never established a church. Yes. Yes, he came. Uh, exactly. The spirit of the Most High filled him. Yes, and he started doing uh, yeah, the things that he did. Speaking, you know, prophesying uh, and healing the sick, etc. He started demonstrating yes. the power of Tatanzambi. Yeah, and he started talking to the Congolese people to call them to return. Yes, and the term return yes. is a biblical term. When he said, Bozonga Nabikoko Nabino, Bozonga is return. And it's a biblical term, which the prophet used exactly in that time. When they say return, exactly. it means repent, you know, turn back, come yes. back to the Most High, come back yes. to the ways the ways of your mm -hmm. forefathers. Yes. And the synonym of forefathers is what? Ancestors. 
Oh, okay, first. Oh, okay, first. Don't go there. You're gonna cause. You're gonna open a can of worms again. Yeah. <laughs> People need to learn. Uh, yeah. People need to learn and to shake off yes, sir. the dusty fear of the enemy upon them. Yes. Shake it up. Exactly. Now, now let's enter into um, the workings of Kimbangu, the things that he did. He fought against the colonizers, the colonizing power, Christianity. Yes. Uh, yes, and he did not fight against them with spears, swords, guns, but he used the spiritual weapons. As it is written, the weapons of our warfare are not carnal, but spiritual yeah? and mighty exactly. by the Most High to, exactly. to pulling down yeah. every stronghold and everything that elevate itself against the true knowledge of the one who we sent. Exactly, so, exactly. It's 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 so deep. It's so deep because uh, that's why we. It's it's really really sad that uh, you know, I was talking to an African American couple that actually rebuked us, and they said, Jonathan, when you do videos, don't say. African Americans hate Africa. No, we are the generation that love Africa. So they're from the, 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 the 70s and the 80s generation. She says, this younger generation don't know anything about Africa. So I have to reframe myself again, okay? Some African Americans hate Africa. And the, why? Because they don't know the story of Kimbangu. Can you imagine if the Hebrew, the black Hebrew Israelites all these camps study the story of Kimbangu. What's going to happen to them? Because they're trying to achieve what Kimbangu achieved in six months. Kimbangu's ministry lasted six months and he shook up the Congo. His ministry lasted six months, my brother. Yeah. Yesaya Congo's ministry lasted what, three, three, three years? years. Kimbangu six months. And in those six months, the miracle that Kimbangu did, because when I was young, I read the scripture, uh, Yokana, John 14, verse 12. If you believe in me, the works that I do, you will do also. And greater works will you do. I had never seen that scripture fulfilled. Mm -hmm. But when I read the story of Kimbangu, I'm like, wait a minute, there's a person who did more than Isaiah. As we're talking of a every miracle that Yesaya did, Kimbangu did. I'll say it again: every miracle that Jesus Christ, as they call him, did, Kimbangu did. The workings of of Kimbangu. Can we go deep, brother Kefas? Can we go deep? Yes. Can we go deep? Let, let's go into the esoteric, deeper stuff of Kimbangu. We will go into the workings of Kimbangu now. First of all, yes, sir. When you mm. read the Bible, yes, you read about the story when Yochanan, the one who baptized, was arrested, put in prison. He sent his disciples with a question to the one who was be called, who, who the people were calling Rabuni. He mm. said, go to that man whom I baptized and told you that he is the manifestation of the Logos mm. who is, have come to save his people. But now go to him and ask him the question, are you the one that we are waiting for? And the disciples went there, they asked the question. And what did Isaiah tell? He said, go back and tell Yochanan, blinds are being healed, uh, of, uh, blind eyes are opened, the lame are walking, the dumb are talking, yes, and the dead are being raised. That was the answer. Yes. With other words, it is written in the book of Isaiah, the, the one who is called Messiah will do such things. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So 
He gave him a coded message just to say, yes, I am. <laughs> uh, a coded mm -hmm. message for John to understand, for John to decode it and understand. See, so the Bible is a book mm -hmm. of codes. It's a book of codes. codes. Esoteric book. Codes. It's a coded book. Codes. You have to be very spiritual well, to break it down. Yeah. Kim Bangu, in his five to six months ministry, yeah, a time of spiritual activity, he raised the dead. Yes. He raised exactly. many people from the dead. Yes. Many people. People who died, who were a few days dead. Okay. We're not talking yes. about someone fell in sleep and didn't wake up and <laughs> at the same moment he came. No, We're talking about people who truly died uh, and, and from whom were um, affirmed that they had died. Yes. He rose people from the dead. Now, is that biblical? Yeah, because Christians will say, no, only Christians can do that. Only the man who is anointed by God can do that. How many pastors raise people from the dead? How Not many in, in the last, let's say, 20 years raise people from the dead? Not many. And uh, if they did, I, I know a friend of it's mine. one or two. I know a yeah, yes, but that's why I say not yes, many. One or two, yeah. I know they are not there. Many, yes, a friend of mine. Mm, a friend of mine. Mm. We have experienced it. I know the power is there. Mm. Some have gracious, yes. you know, by the most high to to bring people yes. back. But not many. Yes. Bangu. <laughs> he went around. Some people even say in Congo, you know, some people say he, he just raised people from the dead for fun. For fun, yeah. Just used oh, to, uh, is he dead? I'm coming. I'm coming. Come on. <laughs> you know, so don't, don't invite him to your bringing, funeral. Listen, people were bringing their dead family members to him. You know, a multitude of people just were bringing, when they heard about this, they were just coming and bringing their dead family members to Kimbang. And he was raising them one by one, just raising them up. One by one. Yeah. That's amazing. That is amazing. You so know, uh, it shows you. Mm -hmm. Jesus did, with which he did. Yes. Yes. Oh, go ahead. Say what you want to say. Oh, sorry. Sorry. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for. Yeah. It shows you that preaching <laughs> is not just about uh, debating. Because when I look at this awakening, we uh, all know we trade knowledge, which is fine. But Kimbangu, he was preaching and the display of power. Like uh, what Paul said, my gospel is not just philosophy. No, but it's the demonstration. First Corinthians chapter 2, from verse 3 to 4. The display of the power of the Most High. And when I look at this awakening, uh, I salute the knowledge. I salute the historical knowledge, which is great. But if you see what the Most High is doing right now is he's spiritualizing the awakening and he's activating people. And I thank the Most High for Masa, who's the Most High is, is using him to activate a lot of people in their giftings. So we want to see these, these supernatural giftings. They are healers and deliverers. So Kimbangu's message was beyond talking. It was display. And when, once you start displaying power, that's when you hit religion. You know? It's very easy to come here and I had a vision, I saw a dream, whatever. But when you start dealing with people's sicknesses and diseases and demonic oppression, that's when Satan will come for you. So Kimbangu was hitting the devil where it hurts. That is why there was so much controversy, you know? But anyway, one of the works of Kimbangu also uh, that I heard was at the time they tried to, uh, to kill him. They couldn't kill him. He used to disappear and reappear. And uh, you know the story that uh, we're going to go into it when he appeared to many people at once. He was all over the yeah. place. Uh, there's a story where he appeared. Yeah, know? so there, there was uh, just to 
comment on what you just said. Yes, sir. In times when they wanted to kill Isaiah in the book, right? When you read the book, they couldn't kill him because they there were times him. that he just disappeared. Disappeared. Yes. So you're telling me that Kimbangu did the same thing. He did the same thing. He did the same thing. They wanted to, the same thing. to grab the same him, thing. disappeared. Disappeared. Enter into another dimension and he moved. But Kifas, isn't that witchcraft? Isn't that sorcery, Kifas? Kindoki? For the non initiated, it is. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> we, 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 we talk power, but when it's time to display power, no, 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 no. It's the devil. It's voodoo. Yeah. Yeah. It's Satan. It's People really don't sad. Know what it's really, power really sad. Is. And uh, when we say they, they don't non, know what power let's say we... non-initiated, I mean that you don't have the knowledge, knowledge, the spiritual exactly. knowledge, yeah, how exactly. things Bungo. work. So you're not initiated yeah. in that dimension. Yeah. The, very true. There's a story where he, he appeared in 43 different countries at the same time. It's known. 43 different countries at the same time. And uh, after that, that's when uh, liberation came to many of the countries. 43. Mm -hmm. When people hear these things, they're like, man, when you talk about avatars, you talk about X-Men, Kimbangu. I was even watching, there was a movie they made. Or it was a series. I don't know. I forgot the name. There were different black, there were different people with, with supernatural powers. The black guy said, I went to prison for 30 years. I'm like, oh, this is the story of Kimbangu. I forgot the name of the, of the series. The guy said, uh, I went to prison for 30 years. I said, this is Kimbangu. And this black guy in that movie had supernatural power because there is no man in church history or whatever that has a story of Kimbangu. It's nowhere. I've researched uh, no one. Even the white people recognize him. And people need no, to no, understand no. When, mm. when they came to take Isaiah yeah, as he was in the Garden of Gethsemane. And I, we will talk yes. about the Garden of Gethsemane and Golgotha yes, to show you the mysteries behind those words and places. Okay? It's not, it's, it's something. <laughs> let me just. What we know. <laughs> I will just leave you My there. brother, the Bible is a dangerous book. Hmm? The Bible is a dangerous book. My it's friend. nothing that you were ever taught. The God, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. and Golgotha. We will discuss it one day. Mm -hmm. uh, but as he was mm -hmm. betrayed, the right yes, the, the soldiers came and they took him. But they did not know who he was. So they asked the question, who is the one who is called mm -hmm. Jesus of Nazareth? Exactly. There was a silence for a while. And then he said, I am he. What happened when I am he? Poof, the soldiers fell. fell. You see the power? Power. Just by saying, I exactly. am. Exactly. I am he. Zangai. Ongai Zangai. I am. Uh, and Ngai is, the, Ngai is the name of. The Kikuyu. Um, one of the attributes. Agikuyu. Exactly. Yes. Oh, the Agikuyu man. called the most high. Ngai. 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 I am. I am. So yes. Nini Nani. I, I. Scary. Nani. Am. I. Wow. <laughs> Crazy, yeah? Bantu codes, man. Kimbo. And, and, ah, and when you <laughs> and if you break <laughs> down the name Ya in Kikongo, <laughs> you will also get <laughs> Ngai. Ngai. Yes. Mm. Mm. Yeah, mm. when you break it down, mm. you will get Ngai, Inki Congo. Yes. Okay? Not Inky any Congo, other yes. language, but Inki Congo. Wow. So Ngai wow. is the done. name for I am. Uh, mm. Like Sonini Nanini, the, the Lango version, yeah? Congo, mm -hmm. Agukuyu, Ngai. Wow. Okay. Um, you are one people, man. Yeah, yeah. one people. So what I want to say is this, um, 
Josiah gave himself voluntarily. No one could take him yes. by force, you know. No he one could take him. Yes. If you by yes. just responding, I am he, release such a force. Yeah, is angai, boom, is force, and the soldiers mm. fell. They were boom. judged by that word, and they wow. fell by the power of that manifestation. You know, they fell. Now, and he also said, "No one has the power to take my life. I lay it down voluntarily. Lay it down. No exactly. one had power to take the life of Kimbangu." He laid it down. He laid it down. He In his down. prophecy of uh, 2021, yes, he said, my time for being arrested is near. Mm. And I will go to prison for a long time. Mm. Yes. He laid down voluntarily. Voluntarily, though cat those Catholic Church did not have any power. To they didn't have any power, you know. Yeah, he they laid down his power. life, and it reminds me of this story uh, that um, I heard this story from one of the Congo Gunza. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. So, Gunza, ah, oh, like King yeah. Gunza. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Please tell me. The story goes like this. Uh, when the Catholic missionaries were preaching the Mundele Jesus, you know, and wanted all the Congo people to convert to their religion. And, and they came to Kimbangu and they told them to stop doing what he was doing because it was contrary to what they were teaching. So Kimbangu told them, if your God is God, if the one you are preaching to the Congo people is God, yes, then you can raise this dead person to life. And, the, and, and he said, let's enter into a contest. That's actually what he said. He said, let's enter into a yes. contest. You know, someone else like did. Like Elijah. You know, like, like Elijah, exactly. Elijah, the spirit of Elijah, exactly. Yes, he said, Leo. Let's, go, mm -hmm. let's enter into a contest. So, if the one you preach is the most high, raise this dead man to life. And everyone was encouraging that contest. They were like, Yes, show us the power of your God, you know, manifest, demonstrate. So, the priest went, assembled all his brothers you know and they came and they start doing the rituals you know and prayers and nothing happened nothing nothing the dead remained dead yes then exactly. the said okay you had your time and he did a prayer and he commanded the dead person to return and he woke up. Woke yes. up. Person woke up, stood up, talked, and and people began to you know to praise the Most High. Began to praise the Most High, and the reaction of the priest was, "This Kinduki. is sorcery." Exactly. Kinduki. This is sorcery. Yes, and from that time on, they decided that this guy has to die. Has to die. <laughs> has because to die. of spiritual who, power. But who decided his fate that he has to die? Who put a judgment upon them? Upon him? Mm. The mm. Catholic Church. The Catholic Church. Rome. Rome. About Rome. The Catholic the Church enemy. decided that he had to go. Yeah, it's always been about Rome. <laughs> Rome. And 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 you know it's 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 crazy because um, that same uh, uh, Ngunza that uh, you speak about, I heard him prophesy 
He said, from the 6th of April, the world will change. I remember I heard the prophecy. I think I told you. A couple of days later, we heard about the Jewish Messiah, 2021. 20, uh, and it's also the 100th year of the um, um, Wall Street massacre, Tulsa, Tulsa, Oklahoma. And it's also the 100th year Black, of the Williams. Black Wall Street. Black Wall Street, yeah, hundredth yes. year. So when Kimbangu was prophesying, he says in hundred years' time, he, he gave you know all these signs, and I found out today. Okay, it's also the hundredth year of uh, William Seymour's prophecy, and today is also uh, China celebrates uh, the Communist Party celebrates hundred years. So I was like, wow, all these uh, hundred, hundred, hundreds, and he said from the sixth of April. And I have seen people speaking about Kimangu. I even saw the president of uh, Congo who went to the ecom economical Kimbangis church honoring Kimbangu. Well, <clears throat> uh, we don't know if he did it for politics or whatever, but you know, politicians. But these, these are just signs. And I was like, wow. The hundred year of Kimbangu's prophecy. And this year I've seen Kimbangu everywhere. Kimbangu, Kimbangu. There's even a Christian pastor from Congo. He was in Togo. The Holy Spirit told him, go to Congo and go honor Kimbangu. He tried to do it. He got insulted by other Christian pastors. Can you imagine? This year, that man has never heard of us. But we had the same word. You had the word. Makai and Zambi had the word. You know, and I see many, many people speaking about Kimbangu. Could it be, Brother Kephos? Because we believe in our Congo spirituality that the spirits do return. Uh, the, the spirits of prophets do return. We saw it with the, the, the story of Elijah and Elisha. Uh, um, as the Bible says, the spirit of prophets are subject to prophets. Uh, and you gave a very, very good breakdown of uh, the spirit of might. Could it be the anointing or the spirit of Kimbangu is linked to the spirit of might, which is uh, uh, the spirit of Elijah? Uh, why not? <clears throat> spirit of might is... Uh... A seven seven spiritual powers, yes. yes. Seven and angels, uh, seven spirits yes. who stand before yes. the throne of the Most High, yes. And and they come to to empower the anointed and the elect. Exactly. Uh, all great prophets operated with one or more of those angelic powers. Very true. Yes, Very all true. of them, all of them. Most, Very true. Moses to you know, um, Yokana, right? John, yes. they all operated with one or more of those seven powers of the seven angels. Yeah. Yeah, That's most, crazy. Most That's Trump, crazy. Most I, high. That's crazy. And I was watching one of the Ngunzas. One of the Ngunzas, um, I have uh, the video where he said that the, the prime minister of Israel, fake Israel, um, she was a woman. I forgot her name. What's her name again? Uh, Golden Mayer or something. She contacted the Congolese government. She wanted to use Kimbangu's bones to fight off the war against Palestine. Can you imagine? To use Kimbangu's bones. One of the Ngunzas was talking about. Is Kimbangu buried in Congo? I don't know. You tell me. <laughs> they say he's. Uh, he, they say he's under Most, the, the if, Kimbangu's if we, church, or if we follow the. The narrative of most of the Ngunza, yes, he is not buried. Yes, what, if, what are you saying, Kephas? What if, are you saying? Yes, if we follow the mm. story of the most of the Ngunzas, his bones are not on the earth, they are not in the earth. What are you saying? But isn't this Kindoki? If this, this is Kindoki, <laughs> then, and, you know, we, let's say witchcraft. Yeah. But not Kindoki, because Kindoki does not <sighs> mean witchcraft. I, I know that, but I understand, but, but hear my heart, because if you start going into that kind of stuff, my brother, I, 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 No, no, no. Don't, let us not say Kindoki, because okay, okay, Kindoki okay does not mean witchcraft in its yes, yes. true definition. Yes, the science of Kong. The, the, yes. It's a whole... Yeah, so but I, use, um, I don't want to lose the brothers and sisters, you know. 
let's use witchcraft. Is is witchcraft? This, okay. If this is considered witchcraft, then the resurrection and the disappearing of Isaiah's body is witchcraft. Oh. So so Christians are practicing witchcraft then, because. Christ, if Christ you is the greatest zombie. Then you yourself, as ah, you Christian, you, you are in witchcraft. You're in witchcraft because you, you be, your leader rose from the dead, so he's the ultimate zombie. <laughs> he's the ultimate, huh? ultimate zombie. Ultimate zombie. <laughs> <laughs> oh wow, wow, wow! And I resurrection. Resurrection hmm. is. It's not really only the no resurrection. People consider resurrection the fit, revitalization of a dead body, right? Revitalization of a dead body, dead person coming back alive and living amongst the people. You have been resurrected. Yes, that is the resurrection mm. that Isaiah did uh, when he mm. raised people from the dead. But his own resurrection mm. is not in that order because he, his body disappeared. He was no longer here, no longer among the living. Yeah. So mm. in the Bukongo, as I have <laughs> learned, the resurrection yes, happens in the beyond. Mm -hmm. As your and your body, your earthly body disappears, like Isaiah did. His earthly body is it here? It's not here. So that's why the Gunza say he is not buried. He never died. His body disappeared. Yes. His body disappeared. And this is something that happened uh, many times in the Congo history. There are many stories of Gunzas knowing the day yes. of their death, the day exactly. that they will die. Exactly. And they communicated they to their families. They say, okay, on that day, yes. I will die. So I want the whole family to come so that we can have a last meal together. Just like... Yakuba, he blessed the sons of Isodele. He brought them together. Uh, exactly. They call it a Lupemba, exactly. Lupemba so, I think. Lupemba. Yes, Lupemba. He gave yeah. them his words, you know, his Lupemba. final words, blessings. Yes, and and then they die. Yes. Okay? And then they, they don't die. just die like that. They know. Listen. They listen. Yeah. Listen to this. Yeah. So there is this story in the Gikuyu tradition. Yes, that mm -hmm. when Mungu was supposed to die, he gathered his family. Yes, and wow. he talked to them and he had a meal, you know, and he said, wow. uh, okay, tomorrow I will die. So I will travel to the mountain. Yes, and he wow. took his oldest daughter and her son yeah and they travel together to the mountain oh i'm going to fast sorry i'm going to fast so they he gathered his family you know his 10 daughters and their husband and children he gathered them and his wife of course and they had a meal and as they ate he said something that reminds me of the bible he said mm. as you are eating this meal and drinking this mm. yeah is this wine or whatever uh, not wine but a certain uh, yeah so something to drink it could be water or something else as you eat this and drink this you are eating my body symbolically and drinking my blood wow meaning that even though wow. i am gone i'm still alive in your flesh yes and then <laughs> He That's took deep his stuff right there. daughter and her son, and they traveled to the mountain. As they reached the mountain, they rested on the seventh day. 
And on the eighth day, wow. he taught them the mysteries of the mountain, the secrets of the mountain. And then he went further <laughs> and reached a top. And on the top of the mountain, he raised his hand. Yes, and thanked the Most High guy. Mm -hmm. And he thanked the Most High and he said, I am ready. Gone. He was lifted up into heaven. That's how you go. That's yeah. how you go. And we had power, man. He was lifted up in the sky and disappeared. Hallelujah. Yes. And that's his, amazing. And, and his oldest daughter, together with her son, they ran back to tell the story. And Hallelujah. Agikuyu tradition. Yeah. They have this. Yeah, they're, they're, I, um, I know a pastor in, in Congo. He, he was old. That man, my late kids would visit him and feed him food. He walked with the most high faithfully. He, he had no strength, but the Maleki would come. They invited him to at a church. He just greeted people and they say he walked with angels. The Maleki were all around him. How did he go? He went in his sleep in glory. You know what I'm saying? So we encourage you, brothers and sisters, when we talk about these things, you can have the same connection with the Most High beyond reading the Bible, man. Beyond just studying the history, power, nguya, huh? the power of the Tanzan. You can have that connection to the Most High, the cosmos, the Maleki. You can control spirits. You speak to spirits and they obey you. That's the power beyond the debating on YouTube and uh, debating the history, debating this power. What's going to bring deliverance to our people is power, spiritual power. Why are people afraid of spiritual power? I don't understand. <laughs> this whole world is governed by spiritual power. All our presidents bow down to the Pope. That is spiritual power. <laughs> All your governments have seers in the government mediums and what what that is spiritual power this whole world is got a spiritual power but our people say oh it's not about power it's about love ah, that does not be yes we can even take ah. it further now we can take it ah. all kingdoms and all nations are built by spiritual power spiritual power yes yes all kingdoms Every nation, every nation built by spiritual powers. Yes, and that's Hallelujah. the reason when you read about the, the, the king's courts in the book, yeah, it'd be the courts of King Nebuchadnezzar, yes, it'd be the courts of King Osiris, yeah, it'd be the court of the king of Egypt, all of them. had sorcerers, warlocks, you know, magicians. Magicians. But the Bible says Daniel was above the sorcerers. He was above. <laughs> he above. So what kind of power did Daniel have? He, Daniel was above the sorcerers. Oh, yeah, yeah. So when, he was teaching. <laughs> when Moses returned the with the message of Ngai yes. to Pharaoh, when he said, mm. this says the most high. Yes, the Elima mm. or the Elimo mm. of the Habiru. Let my people mm. go. Yeah, and he exactly. told Mas, uh, Aaron to, you know, to do the staff thing. And he took the staff. Ha, demonstration. You know, demonstration. Not only words. So Masa didn't go mm. with words. Okay, he didn't come with words. No, he, he didn't came, come with a, he didn't he come with a, came with a uh, message and a demonstration. Display of power, yes. but as display, but imagine who reacted, you go see. I don't know if it drove who Biden. reacted. Who exactly. reacted to his display of power? Who? Magicians, the magicians. Exactly, the magicians. So it was power against power. It was power yeah. against power. And being a magician. Yeah was magicians were part of the courts, the king's courts. 
Those are those are your presidential advisors today. <laughs> your, 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 your diplomats, <laughs> yeah. politicians. Guys, open your eyes. Everything is about spirituality. But as Everything today, is... imagine I go to Joe Biden. Let my people go. Let me debate you, Joe Biden. Can we debate the Apocrypha? His name is, there's no J in the Hebrew. Uh, 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 Yeshua, Yeshua, Yeshua. No. Power. Power. Come on. See? Power. And the Catholic Church feared him Feared him. Because of the demonstration of power. Yeah. Yeah. They feared exactly. him. Because they, they saw him. the workings of Jesus, whom they were preaching in him. And not exactly. in themselves, but in him. No. So in him. that made them so afraid. Catholic exactly. Church knows our exactly. history. You understand? They know that we are yeah, very, the very well. Kabiru, Kabiru, okay? The Hebrews of the book. They know that we are the people. So when they trace the covenant box in Egypt, or oh, oh, sorry, in, uh, in uh, <laughs> Ethiopia, they went there to wage war because they wanted to steal the box. You see? Mm. So they know who we are. <laughs> they know. So now exactly. that Kimbangu <laughs> was demonstrating we, we can go on and on and on. Let's... <laughs> the power. They said, no, we need to shut this guy. We need to, you know, we need to eliminate ourselves from this guy exactly. because he is hindering our progress you know, of, of subduing these Congolese people. Exactly. He's African. As long as he's alive, exactly. Yeah, he will hinder our work. You will liberate them. Exactly. The beast. Rome is the beast. You know, Rome is the, the beast is not just a man, it's a whole be, it's mm -hmm. a whole system, you know. So let's let's go into the prophets of Kimbangu. Yeah. You yeah. know, when I'm with you, we things start flowing, 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 and I'll be here for three hours. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know, let's get into Kimbangu's prophecies. And of course, his famous quote, uh, you know, uh, the famous quote that's going on all around the world. Uh, Kim, what did Kimbangu say? On the night of his, when he got uh, arrested, he told the Congolese people, il faut continuer à lire la Bible. Continue, Continue to read the Bible. Bible. Yeah. Vous allez attraper le voleur avec l'objet qu'il a volé. Mm -hmm. You will catch the thief with the object of what he stole. In other words, in the Bible, you will catch the thief. So don't throw the Bible away, but you will find yourselves. You, you will catch the thief. Hallelujah. And that quote is being used everywhere in the world today. Mm -hmm. And it's, it, it, it's a... Uh, oh, don't burn Congolais. the Bible. Don't Congo. You have to be... Don't, oh, don't go there. <laughs> <laughs> don't burn the Bible. <laughs> no, continue to read it. Continue to read it. <laughs> Because don't burn the Bible. Continue to read it. We understand the frustration because exactly. I, I've read the Bible many times over. There was a time where you start seeing there are contradictions there, man. We have to be honest with our people. There, there are contradictions. They've, they've added things, whatever. And there's, there's a Ngunza in Congo who burnt the Bible. And the Christians prayed for him to die. Do, do you know the story? They prayed for him right now for him to die. He burnt the Bible. This, this week, or well, last week, he burned the Bible. Yeah. No, don't burn the Bible. But through the Bible, you'll discover, uh, you know, the Christians in Congo went crazy. They prayed for him to die. Uh, <laughs> you know, because uh, he looked at the state of the Congolese people, what Christianity has done. It hurts, uh, Nabi Kefas. Mm -hmm. it, 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 it hurts when you look at what Christianity has done to Congo and how it has destroyed our people. So this guy burned the Bible. No, guys, don't burn the Bible. Through the Bible, you you catch the thief. We okay. You you froze up. Rick. Yes. So we have the prophecies of Kimbangu here. We're gonna yes. We're just gonna read it and discuss some portions of it. Uh, yes. First of all. Um, 
this prophecy was given in September, 10 September in 1921. Uh, wow. In a place called Mbanzan Sanda in Congo Central. 10th of September, uh, 11th of September, 9-11. Mm, yes. Crazy. 1921. Yeah. Um, let me see where I can start. Now, he said, my physical body will be subjected to the humiliation and the displeasure, but my spiritual person will go into battle against the injustice sown by the people of the world of darkness that came to dominate us using colonization. So he called that people, the people of the world of darkness. Wow. Yes, that came to dominate us using colonization. You see what they wanted to kill him? Wow. <coughs> yes. I have been sent to liberate the people of Congo. He said, I've mm. been sent black men around the world. Wow. The Negroes around the world, the Habiru, wow. Kabiru, the Congo people around the world. Around the world. All the blacks. Wow. Yes, all the blacks. Today we are still persecuted, but at the fixed time by, uh, by Tatanzambe, black men will become white. And white men will become black. And it is something that Massa loves to say. Oh, Massa, like, this is, this is, we, we just said that. White. I heard Massa, black will become white. <laughs> that's Massa's favorite. I greet you, Massa. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's Massa's favorite, favorite, favorite. So, in other words, we will take the position, uh, as the Bible says, that they're going to go into slavery. There's no other way to say it. You know, I heard, uh, of the record, one of the black Hebrew Israelites says, in the kingdom, uh, I'm going to violate white women. I'm like, this guy. So for him, <laughs> that's what all he cares about. I'm like, guys, not, not, not. I couldn't believe my ears. Like, he's pushing on the streets. Yeah, we're going to violate the other nations. Okay. I'm like, excuse me for my don't language. Don't be so carnal. Excuse me for my language, but they say rape. Yes, right? yes, yes. I, I, I don't want to say because I yes, mean the yes. children watching. Uh, no, I say uh, it. Videos okay. and our parents watching. You know, I have to be it. very respectful. No, there, yes. there are so, people. There I couldn't are... believe. I couldn't believe. It's I crazy. believe that. So for them, liberation is to. No, to man. To be calm. You must be a sick, mm -hmm. a sick one in the head, man. To, to think like this. You know? To think that like this, you have a perverse spirit. You understand? Well, so, well, if I'm telling you, if you they are, serve the God, you are carnal. Yeah, you are carnal. But if they serve, you, but if it's the same mind as the promise in Islam that when you die as a oh, martyr, yes. that you will get exactly uh, seven seven two virgins, seventy two virgins and. And the is bad. bad. Religion is bad, man. In heaven. Let's think about that. What do you do with seven virgins, virgins in heaven? It's pray. heaven like but a house of you gotta pray together. You know, of, of you gotta pray together. Fornication. It's <laughs> heaven like a house of you know carnal interactions. Uh, it's crazy. Religion, religion is it. bad. So you, you blow yourself up to have seven seven two virgins. Mm -hmm. And by the way, uh if you serve the god of Bill Cosby, you'll be set free, even after doing all those things. <laughs> yes, it's, the, it's the you same, know, it's the same spirit. Uh, okay, it's the same spirit. Uh, he said, as no, the just... spiritual and moral foundations, as we know them today, will be deeply shaken, and they are be yes. deeply shaken today. Look at the yes. moral standard today of of yes. the European people. They are promoting homosexuality. Everything, everything, you know, everything. Uh, LGBTC, uh, the whole alphabet. <laughs> they are promoting marriage with animals, you know, animals marriage yeah. with, with objects. Objects. And... They are promoting pedophilia. Yeah. Everything which is an abomination to Tatanzambe, they yeah. promote. Wow. Yeah. So they are truly Kadia Pemba. Kadia Pemba. Kadia Pemba. Hey, what's wrong with, 
Yeah. You see? So, hey. Let's go on. Okay, let's go on. This is a family show. The decade. This is a family show. Forgive us. And eventually, they will be forced to act in accordance with our decisions. That's what he says. They will be forced to yes. act in accordance with our decisions, the decisions of the black people, Congo, the Congo and yes. Africa. So he did not just say Congo, he said Congo and Africa and Africa will and Africa. be free. Wow. Will be free from all the manipulations, you know, all, all, all the um <clears throat> How do you say that? Um, chantages. Hmm? Uh, because the European leaders, yes, they are mm -hmm. using the African leaders up as puppets. But the time is up. Big, time African is up. leaders mm -hmm. will stand up. They will say, enough. We don't want you anymore. Enough. enough. We, are, we are seeing um, the Ghanaian president, uh, you know, Ghanaian president who is standing against white supremacy. Uh, which is good to see from Ghana, you know. Yes. Interesting. Yes, uh, and <clears throat> the other presidents who stood up against them were killed. So they will kill some, but uh, yeah. pre presidents will continue to, you know, slowly, but they will begin to resist and to stand up yes. for the the right of yeah. own existence. You know, to 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 govern themselves. And eventually, as he said, they will have to act in accordance with our decisions. And the Congo yes. and Africa will be free. Yeah, decades following the liberation of Africa will be terrible and horrible as all the early rulers of free Africa who work for the benefits of the white people. Now, this, this happens. We have seen this. You know, yes. every uh, country, every African country that received liberation, uh, many of them enter into war, civil wars. Yes. No? Yes, no. everywhere from West, East, yes. Central Africa, Southern Africa. Yeah. And the rulers of Africa, they work for the benefit of the white people. Very true. Benefits of Europe, America. Very true. Okay. <clears throat> Now, he also said that many Africans, uh, young people who leave Africa in the hope to seek better life, that happened. Yes. My father happened. was uh, 30 years old. 30. When he left Angola? When he left Angola with my you, mother. You know, you know, wow. You know, one day you must do a special video on the war in Angola. I don't think people understand how bad it was. And uh, because there's a huge link with Angola and uh, the United States of America, they, they don't even know it. You know, they're still going to Israel. Instead of going to Angola, there's a, the first laser from Angola, the, the Kingdom of Congo, you know, uh, and the war in Angola. We knew, we knew, we knew, we knew about the war in Angola. Savimbi. Yes. Uh, and, and, you, you, you be Savimbi. Of course, of course. Mm, Savimbi. Everyone knows Savimbi. Uh, we know Savimbi. Hey, but Savimbi and Mobutu. You know. <laughs> yes, you, you, you shared an article with me of the Israeli ambassador who went to Mbanza Congo, right? Yes. And he told them, yes. the people of Mbanza Congo, the Congo people, that they have the same traditions. Now, this yes. is a Jewish Israeli Jewish ambassador. Israeli ambassador. Yes who went to Congo, Angola, and he said, we have the same traditions. Same traditions as the Jewish people. Yes. Israeli. He said, you Jewish, Congolese yeah. people, yeah. you have the same traditions as we, the as Jewish we. people. What? What are those traditions? Exactly. Okay. What are those? Tra He's telling you in code that you are Jewish. You are the true Jew. You are the truth, yeah. yeah. Yaounde. Kabiru, kabiru. Yaounde. Yaounde. It's you guys, yeah. It's you guys, mm -hmm. but in code. In code. The people didn't understand it. They were like, oh, yes, we love. Uh, our, people are, our people are still dancing to Kofi, dancing Kofi Olomide, dancing to Kizomba, mm -hmm. huh? yes. dancing to what? Kiduru, huh? Kiduru. 
Especially ki 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 Zomba is now on fire. Ki Zomba, but anyway, <laughs> it was crazy. There will be a lot of mortality among them, yeah, among the blacks. Uh, yes, and some will never see the parents again. Those who wow. went to Europe, yes, he yeah. said many of them will die, yeah, and some will never see the parents again. Came to All pass. Right? Now, to pass. my father, for example, he was very young. Yeah, he was thirty years old mm. when he when we moved to Europe. Okay. <clears throat> Mm. He never saw his father again. Ish. Wow. According to the prophecy of Kimbangu, it happened. Yeah, he it happened. Never, I remember the day. Mm. I remember mm. that he got a, a, a call from Africa. Yes. And told them your yes. father had died. You know? Mm. And he cried the whole sad. day. Yes, very sad. We, yeah, we are. Uh, when we fled to South Africa because of the war in Congo, the instability in Congo, you know, uh, we left cousins there. I've haven't seen him. Uh, we left. Uh, ah, it, it was crazy. I I remember hmm, the day. Uh, uh, they call it piage, piage. Uh, when they were stealing, I was in the car with my dad, and we were coming back, and we just saw. Because we stayed in some rich area there in uh, Katanga. It was a rich area, you know, doctors, whatever. People were just stealing. I remember stealing. My dad said, run in the house, run in the house. We ran in the house. Now be careful. I saw soldiers. They were coming down the helicopters, like, like commandos in our house. Like they, they were there, like, you know, like the soldiers there. So my dad was like, go on your, uh, where to walk on our, you know? Because there were gunshots. I remember those soldiers. France, there were Belgium soldiers, French soldiers. I remember they, you know, they were the co commandos in our, in our um, yard and stuff. It was chaos. And uh, we had to leave the Congo. A, a year later, my dad got a job uh, here in South Africa and we left. They were stealing. They can come in your house and, and they just steal. So we saw the soldiers there. You know, I, I remember, I remember, man, I was young, young. I remember those French soldiers that were coming down everywhere. Yeah, man. So Angola, Congo, war. Uh, but it's, it's good to see Angola is, is recovering. It's, it's a miracle, man, to, uh, you know, the wars. Uh, yeah, we are children of war. Eh? We, yeah, so, man, may, may we see peace, man. May we see peace, really? you know? Yeah. That's right. Yeah. 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 So and and then yeah, he said man. it will take a long period of time for a black man to acquire yes. spiritual maturity. Now that's powerful. That's powerful. A long time. It will take a long time. Yeah. So it's going to take time for us to reach mm. to reacquire his spiritual maturity. Spiritual maturity. And so, so we don't know our back spiritual to maturity. Our roots. And we are living wow. in it, 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 it's, this prophecy. We are going yeah, back to very our true. all over the world. Very People true. are waking up all over the world. Kimbangu prophesied it. Kimbangu prophesied it. That's what he we prophesied did. it. Yeah. All over the yeah, world. Exactly. It's, we are in that time and in that season right now. Wow. And this will allow him, the black man, to obtain his financial independence. Huh? Wow. So the next step is to see black men in Africa to obtain the to own, own the resources. Financial independence. We have to own our resources. Exactly. Yes. Exactly. Yeah. That's the next Kimbangu, step. Kimbangu said it. The next step. The next step. After spirituality, then comes the finances. The finance. Prosperity. Prosperity. What Crawford Bola is preaching and Kenneth Copeland, what they're preaching, they, yeah. they got it uh, twisted. They got go for the money first. No, go for spirituality first, then the money will come. Yes. You know? Yes. I tell my, my Congo brother Crawford Bola, come to Congo and preach prosperity when you reach spiritual maturity. Yeah. Buy a house in Congo there, yeah, Crawford Bola. Don't mind in Angola, you know, instead of investing in Texas. Anyway. Mm -hmm. yeah, Crawford Bola. Yeah, so 
And oh, well, then, on, <clears throat> so the spiritual awakening, obtaining spiritual maturity, step one. Yes. yes? That yes. is phase one. Yeah? The yes. financial independence is phase two. Step two. And then the third phase uh, shall be fulfilled. In this, the great yes. divine king will be born. Yes. Who is that? <laughs> he calls him the, the one great divine king will be born. Who is that? Ah. Who, who's that? King? So Congo will have a king. Yeah. Who is that? He calls him, uh, in French, on the Le Roi Divin. Yes, Le Roi Divin. Who is, who is that? The one great is he alive today? will be born. He will come he alive with today? His three powers. He will come with three spiritual powers. power, scientific power, power and scientific the political power. power. Politi political. You know how we call is that? Is he alive today? Makuku Matatu Malamba Kongo. Tatu Malamba. Malamba Kongo. Makuku Matatu Malamba Kongo. The three pillars. Come with this Maka, three. Matu, ma, we, we. Yes, the spiritual power. Yes. Economic power, scientific power. Exactly. Mm. So who's yes. the divine king? Brother Kifas, are you the divine king, Brother Kifas? <laughs> uh -huh. Is it you? I'm asking. <laughs> I'm asking. Uh -uh. Why? Is it is it you or, or should we or should we seek for another? Huh? <laughs> I want to know. Maybe it's you. Maybe it's Massa. Okay. Is it is it Massa or we seek for another? I, he he think will, about it. He All will, the prophecies are being made. Huh? He will be revealed when we enter the third phase. Yes. As soon as we enter the third phase. He will be revealed, and he the is third. the one who mm -hmm. will fight and win against the European and American rule. Yes. Yeah, very true. And uh, what from the revelation that you got, and what we we've seen is he's being he's going to come after this president that's in Congo. So we await. We shall see. <laughs> yeah, it's the third phase. People have prophesied this for years, so, but there's a man in Congo as we speak. And it must uh, we go will speak off air. It must we will speak go off air. That <laughs> as, okay, go on. The, and, and that's why we see this movement. You know, this, there's a movement now in Congo of the Ngunzas waking up, you know, calling people to return. The Ngunza, exactly. Yes. yes. Yeah, it's, and, it's, it's, and of it's, course, they're, the band they're appearing everywhere. And, is is also doing the same thing calling people to return and in kenya we see the seers are also calling people to return you know the it's everywhere i seers. see it everywhere the goons, yeah. yeah so everywhere and of course in america you have the awakening in its own form the hebrew israelite movement okay? uh, but they have to learn that everything goes back to Congo, to Africa. Okay? That's one thing that they haven't learned yet, but they will mm. come there if they open their minds and spirit. They, we, we are praying for them. We are praying for- They will come there. We are praying for them that they get the revelation. You they know, will have no other choice. We are praying for them. My brother, they will have no other choice. As the black yeah. is gaining his spiritual maturity, yes? spiritual okay. maturity not spiritual research spiritual maturity yeah so you must become spiritual mm. and not someone who's just researching history yes. you must become spiritual yes yes that's phase one then yes. the financial independence then we enter into the third phase according to the prophecy of kimbangu where one great divine king will be born and he will come with those three powers mm. okay? in kikongo the, th the three powers malamba congo yes? then saku malamba congo. representing yes, the yes, spiritual yes. power mm. 
Yes. Zinga. Uh, the Zinga representing mm -hmm. the political Zinga. power. And Mpanzu. Hamzu representing Mpanzu. the scientific power. Yes. Scientific power. Yes, sir. And, he's, and he continues mm -hmm. that I myself am a representative of the king and I will uh, liquidate the hum humili humiliation since the earliest times. Yeah? So there will be a recompense. They did, they did cease to inflict on black people. Yeah? So everything that the one he called uh, the kingdom of darkness, everything that those people of the world of darkness did will return unto them. For all races of the earth, of all races of the earth, none has been as much maltreated and humiliated than the black race. Hmm, that's what he said. Very true. Hmm, now, very true. Carry yeah. on reading the Bible. Through his writings, you will come mm. to learn the acts of those who come to bring you this book. Meditate on the writings. Don't burn it. The moral principle mm -hmm. it contains. A thief must be seized with the object he steals. Now that's a quote. Of what he stole. And, uh, we know Hallelujah. you quotes. Yes. I leave you nothing but the Bible. Yes. Read it frequently and in all circumstance of time and place and put into practice without failure God's commandments. Yes. God's commandments. Exactly. Mm, and then he continues and he says, we will have our own sacred book in Ooh, which are written, bomb. in which are written hidden things. What is hidden? Exactly. Thing? Mystery. Esoteric. Mystery. Yeah. The deep things. The, huh? deep, the deep things. things. For the black yeah. you know, you know, uh, also and the Congo people. Yes, he said this book will only be yes. for the black race and the Congo people. And the Congo people. One longi, a teacher, will come before my return to write this book and prepare the arrival. Stop, stop there, stop there, stop there, stop there, the stop there, stop there. One teacher will come. One longi will come, teacher. A teacher will come. One teacher. Who is that teacher? One longi, teacher. Not many. One teacher will one come. Who is that teacher? One teacher. One who, teacher. who is that teacher? We don't know. He, he, I, I, I know who he is. You know who he is? I know who he is. No, I know, I know, who, I know who the teacher is. Anyway, go on. Okay, keep it <laughs> go <secret>. on. <laughs> yes, he will come. Uh, yeah, yeah, I know, I know. To well, if, write this yeah. book and prepare the arrival of the king. See, it will be fought by the Hallelujah. generation exactly. of his time. Mm -hmm. so it will not be received at once. That's but crazy. It will be fought by the generation of his time, but little by little, many people will understand and follow his teachings because without yes. this longi, this teacher, who will prepare the Congo people? Prepare the way. So according Hallelujah. to Kimbangu, this Longi, this teacher will appear in Congo. Yes. And mm. in Congo, he will write mm. a sacred book for the black race and the Congo Next people. race, Congo people. That's great. And something Kimbangu also said, Kimbangu always valued our languages. That's why we we talk about the Bantu languages, the Bantu languages, the Bantu languages. Mm -hmm. Kimbangu says, you, you will, the secrets also in your languages. And we are seeing in America, they're embracing the Kikongo and other Bantu languages, which is true. It's really amazing. And, you know, Kimbangu also represents what happened after. Because in South Africa, they had a leader called Shembe. Ah, my brother, you must read about Shembe. South Africans know, if I say Shembe, the Zulus of South Africa know Shembe. In Zimbabwe, they had some guy called Marcel, Masao, or something. In Congo, Brazzaville, they had... Uh, so, in that time, there were these avatars, my friend. There were these avatars in that time. They were all alive in that time. That's amazing. 
you know but my favorite of favorite Sima Toko and we we must do a whole video on Sima Toko my friend that's that's gonna yeah. next time we'll, we'll do Sima Toko <laughs> and then he said the, Arab- the man who was checking America even in his grave you know I'm kidding but the arrival of the king will be very little mm-hmm. and with no yes mercy yes wow so the Congo people must be taught before this event so there is also an uh a danger for the Congo people event, to die. Yes. Yeah. You the grand finale. And then he says this, you don't know yet what spiritual yeah. war uh, is. People won't be, yeah. You don't know yet what spiritual war is. So spiritual war mm. <laughs> is something that we haven't really, really mm. experienced. That's what he's saying. Mm. You don't the, know yet what is a spiritual what war. Spiritual, spiritual war. Wow. The things that will happen will be terrible. Mm. When the Congo people begin to free themselves, any country <laughs> that dares to attack the Congo will be submerged beneath the waters. Need the waters, yes. Yes. You do not already know the power. You don't know, truly know, the power of those who are sent by the Almighty Father. So there will be a demonstration of power like never before seen manifested on the earth when the Congo people begin to free themselves any country that dares to attack them will be judged by those who ascend of the almighty father they will judge those countries by the demonstration of tremendous power crazy these acts of power mm. that you have experienced oh wait uh, i've gone too far he shall prevail in the coming years on the such condition that only acts of power can convince the world of the existence of god Yes. Only mm-hmm. the manifestation of those powers will convince the people, the world, that truly yes. God exists and he is with those Congo people. Hallelujah. It's time. And this act of power that you have experienced will also be realized by other servants of God. Uh, that will choose to sustain my work. So he said, other persons, what you have experienced from my ministry, there are some other uh, prophets who are coming. Who are who coming. Play yeah. the same power. Now, who came after him? Ooh, you know, Sima Toko. <laughs> exactly. Now, the prophets are very the, long. The others were coming. Nabi Kepas, Masa, others are coming. Yes, the uh, focus is very long. We, we are waiting for you to be activated. You know? You're waiting for me to be activated. Activated. We want to see what's, what's inside you. Uh, <laughs> Hallelujah. Yes. Satan mm. will do his work. Now we At are his right time. Hallelujah. Yes. Yeah, so the, the prophecy is very long. Um, so I, I won't. Yeah, it's fine. Everything. Yeah. Um, yeah. So yeah, we've we shared most of the important thing. So you can actually, uh, I think, post on your. your oh prophecy. wait, wait. Post it. Yeah. Wait, wait, wait. Okay. Let me let okay. me read this one also. Okay. Mm. Let me le- read this part also. The generation of Congo will lose everything. Yes, the generation, it's Kimbangu. The generation of the Congo will lose everything. She will not know. 
she will not know the principles of marital ancestors. Wow. Hmm. Kimbangu. Bomb. Kimbangu. Bomb. That's he said, bomb. you will not That's know, you will lose everything and you will forget the <laughs> principles of the ancestors. This generation will ignore wow. their mother tongue. Exactly. In Congo, they ignore sure. their mother tongue. You know, mm. they prefer speaking the tongue of the, of the yes. French. Right? And when you speak the tongue of the French, they consider you a learner. Yeah, French. In a, in a French. So I urge yes. you not to neglect or wow. despise your mother tongue. It must be taught to your children and grandchildren. It will come, it will come a time when the language of white people will be forgotten. Hallelujah. <laughs> so let's stop there. So yeah. It's important so, to relearn the principles of your ancestors. Yes. Yes. And to, Hallelujah. It was and to know your language. Long overdue long overdue video i just thank the most high because um the all the wisdom that you've shared here really really powerful and it's always a joy coming on this platform and i learned so much uh, as you were speaking to me i was i was in spirit getting messages and messages and messages so i really honor the work that you're doing and uh you know we are we are the personification of kimbangu's prophecy man you know, we are personifying his prophecy today. So yes. it's, it's such a beautiful thing to see. Yes, yeah. the brothers in unison, the Congo people in unison, the Bantu people in unison doing the work and uh, seeing people touched and changed. I think it's, it's it's humbling that the Most High really favored us that we could do this work for his Kembo. Yes, and the Kimbangu yeah. consciousness everywhere. Yeah. Kimbangu's so, consciousness is everywhere. It's reaching a lot of people. Yeah. No, uh, we everywhere. are waking up. Um, and we must, hey, you know, let me tell you this. Growing up in, um, when I was still a child in, in Angola, I heard stories mm -hmm. about black men who had Rasta. You know, not, mm -hmm. not really Rasta, but locks, long locks. Locks, yeah. Yes, yeah. long locks. And the story was that they dedicated themselves to the God of the ancestors. Yeah? And that they were living in, yeah. in, in the desert. Now, the desert is yeah, yes. like the bush. Yes, they were yes. living in the bush among animals, things like that. But once, uh, once a while, they will appear. They mm. will come out, yes, and they will share the words of the God of the ancestors, the word that they receive to people. Mm. And these prophets, yeah. as they call them prophets, they were, they were very scary. They had this energy yeah. around them you know this this authority yes. upon them yes so when they spoke people were afraid yes. were afraid yeah now this That's story crazy. reminds me of the vow or the Samson. dedication of the mm -hmm. nazarene nazarene yeah yes do you know the the vow and the de dedication of the nazarene I'm aware. They were not I'm aware. supposed and to cut the hairs. Cut, cut the hairs. But to yes. grow it I'm aware. And, and, Yes. Yeah. In fact, even though you know, you know that the, it's the Congo people who found Rastafarianism in Jamaica. Oh yes, the Congo people. Rastafarianism. Yes. Ask, ask the, the Jamaican people. Do you, do you know the song Manza Congo? It's like a Rastafarian beat. We found it. The Congo people found uh, the samba. The Congo people found uh, La Bamba. That song, La, ba la, 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 la Bamba, Congo. We found uh, the tango, the mambo. Yeah, Rastafarianism. But then the Rastafarians <laughs> went to Kush, <laughs> Halasalasi. Confusion. <laughs> Confusion. 
Rastafarianism. Yeah, I'm telling you. Uh, I'll show you. I'll, I'll share the link with you one day. Mm -hmm. Yes, thank you, my brother. Now, yeah, yeah, Kefas. We talked about Kimbangu. Yes. Yes, sir. Uh, Yanatan explained to us who is Kimbangu. We entered into a short history of Kimbangu, and we shared yes. his prophecies. Yes. Yes. And we know that the Bible is not, it may shock you, it shocked me, but I had to accept the truth. All of us. The Bible us. is not the word of the Almighty, but it contains Things. the words yes. of Tatanzan. Yeah, yes? It shocked all of us, my brother. It contains yeah. the word of Tatanzan. It shocked all of us. And it it's a book of, of codes. Yes. A book of code. So you need to yes. know how to decode and to interpret by the spirit all of, us. of the most. Exactly. And that's it why King said, us. don't throw the Bible away. Read Continue it. Because it will reveal yes. who you are and it will also reveal yes. the thief. Yes? Exactly. So that's it. So we celebrate uh, Kimbangu. We honor him yes. as one of the greatest. Happy Independence prophets. Day, Congo. Happy yeah. Independence Day, Congo. Exactly. When is when is Angola's in, uh, when is Angola's uh, independence? Uh, I have to look it up. I, I don't know it by. Uh... Oh, Moshe. <laughs> I'm telling the truth. Uh, Moshe. I, I but uh, you true. have to do a video on on Angola. Teach the Americans about Angola. Teach them the war or the slave. Teach them about Angola. They'll they'll see themselves. You know. So yeah. Mm -hmm. Yes, okay. Um, okay so we brother. thank you all for being part of this conversation. Yes. Hallelujah. Tanzan will bless you, and we hope that you have learned and got more insight um, over who Kimbangu is. Yes, and the importance yes. of recognizing our own prophets. Yes, our own prophets. Yes. Now, we, the Congo people, yes, sir. we have Kimbangu. You know, uh, from Angola, we also have Simon uh, Toko, uh, and uh, of course, Pastor Simon Badi. Uh, yes. Hallelujah. Um, now, other tribes, uh, other Bantu tribes also had their own prophets. Of course, the Agikuyu, there's, there's even one alive today, uh, the, the Sears. Uh, we, we must do a whole video on him one day. Yes. Well, exactly. I pray that we, they have secrets there. Uganda, I heard about you in Uganda. In Zimbabwe, they had prophets. So we, uh, you uh, everywhere. So everywhere. all Bantu. Uh, so it's not only on. All Bantu tribes had, prophets. had the prophets. Yes, who spoke the words of the Most High. Yeah. Uh, uh, in America, the, in America, they had, uh, what's his name? Uh, uh, William Seymour. William Seymour. Harriet Tubman. Mm -hmm. uh, Malcolm X. Martin Luther King was a prophet too. Even though people get upset, I will say it. Martin Luther King. Um, Nate, Nate Turner, you know, and uh, yes. And there are other ones who is raising up there in this time. Hallelujah. So, All right. Campbell, my brother. So, greetings okay. to you, brothers and sisters. Thank you, Matondo, for being a part Matondo, of the Matondo, Matondo. Yes, like the video, share the video. And if you are new at the page, make sure to subscribe and Jonathan's channel. Go watch his videos. And don't forget to subscribe, of course. All praises. Here on the channel. All uh, praises. We hope and we pray that our goal is to edify you spiritually, you know, to, to bring knowledge and yes. to bring light. And that's why we come with. Uh, yes, sir. Uh, we come online. Yeah, it's not for ourselves to elevate ourselves, yes. no, but to build the people. Yeah, yes, sir. To restore the spirituality and the spirit yes, of Congo in you so that you know Hallelujah. who you are, where you come from and who your ancestors were. Hallelujah. So bless you and see you next time. Next time. I see you. Get